What is going on, guys? Jimmy here from TP Game Boys, bringing you the first episode of our Skyrim Let's Play. I've wanted to do a Skyrim Let's Play on the channel for a long, long time, to be really honest. I loved Skyrim back on the Xbox 360 when it came out in 2011, and now here we are with Skyrim Remastered. I think it's a great opportunity for us to go ahead and crank out a Let's Play. This is my character. He is an orc. Got some cool weapons and armor here. I got some orc axes. Superior. I stole these from the orc stronghold. And then I've got some orc uh, armor that I also stole from the stronghold. I'm not too far in the game because I was mainly focusing on getting armor and weapons and stuff. But I am getting there now. Fighting the dragon here. And I got Jared and Spencer here with me. So that's going to be pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and just kind of run with it to be honest. I'm not necessarily sure what we're going to be talking about but it's going to be mostly about the gameplay and what you can expect on our let's play in the future now this isn't going to be a regular series or anything like that but what we will do sometimes is sometimes we'll do my character sometimes we'll do jared's character and sometimes we'll do spencer's character so i think it'll be a real fun way for us to get together have fun and just not have a series that's so so concrete just more free-flowing and and fun so i'm gonna go ahead and just run out this dragon jared you guys can talk for a little while you guys take it Alright, what's up guys, Jared here. Um, I'm really excited about this video. I'm a big Elder Scrolls fan and I was really excited uh, this game came out because I've been waiting for this facelift that Skyrim needed for so long. This game is five years old and it looks amazing. Um, right now we're going to go fight the first dragon. We are about to find out where the dragon born. And uh, yeah, Spencer. What's up guys, it's Spencer. Now Jim. A very good question about how you play the game why do you play third person okay i played third person because i played uh i played fallout in first person because it's kind of a more first person shooter type game but i feel like playing in you know in this mode it doesn't make a whole lot of sense you know what i mean because it's, it's, it's a melee game it doesn't matter where i'm aiming so if i play like this i can see my character i can see a wider field of view and i can kind of make things happen it's, it's a little easier for me personally and I can see my dope ass orc uh, named Shrek. That's so that's cool. But like, I switch between first and third person a lot, but I mainly play in first. But I only do that because I feel like it's easier yeah. to see like what's going on. If I'm and, like, picking stuff up like this, that, that, I'm yeah, definitely yeah. I'm definitely like this. Or if there's something really specific I have to look at, like if there's a puzzle on a wall, I'll do that. Especially if you're in like a tight building like that that tower right there. I feel like yeah. it's harder to play in third person. Yeah, but like, if I'm in a big fight, like I'm about to be with this stupid ass dragon. I'm definitely playing in third person. Now, I'll be honest. I don't know how this is going to go because I don't have my shout or my uh, my power ready, which is the uh, the Berserker Rage, which is fucking lit. If you aren't playing as an orc, you're insane because the Berserker Rage is just so badass. You get double damage for like 60 whole seconds. And double damage, you can take on things that are way stronger than you, and it's not a big deal at all. Don't but, you take uh, yeah, half damage too? Yeah, you take half damage. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I've only double damage and half damage. Yeah. I'm going hashtag Team Nord all the way. Um, I like most Elder Scrolls games I've played, which is pretty much Oblivion and Skyrim. I play as, like, the uh, the race of, like, whatever, like, game you're in. So Skyrim would be Nord, Oblivion, is in Serial, right? I have no so, idea how I'm even going to attack this guy. I don't have no arrows. You play uh, as an Imperial in Serial. But, yeah, I usually play as a Nord in Skyrim. I mean, we should get. We, there should definitely be an Elder Scrolls game that's in our orcs. That'd be I, lit. I'm not a big fan of the orcs. I, I love why. the orcs so much, especially because I can name him Shrek. I think that's funny. That was actually way too fucking easy for a that let's was, play. That, I think that's the. F well, what difficulty are you? Playing what, on? what difficulty? You oh, on? I lowered it. That's right. I was actually when I was getting all my, like orc armor and stuff. I kept getting killed by one of the orc um, chieftains or whatever. And he, yeah, he kind of fucked my shit up like ten times in a row, so I lowered it. But I don't know, whatever. We can go back. There's actually a lot to do in Skyrim, so obviously just because I killed the day dumb dragon, there's a there's ton a, of fucking stuff yeah, to do. There's a ton fight. of stuff to do in Skyrim, so there's probably gonna be a couple more videos, yeah. especially with the mods now available on PlayStation and Xbox and console games. Yeah, that's gonna be great to be honest. And I haven't even touched the mods yet. Yeah, yeah I I downloaded a couple, uh, mostly graphic mods. But um, I did download a couple other mods. Jimmy, do you know anything about the mods we have on right now or no? Yeah, I can check real quick. I know I downloaded uh, a rain and snow special effect mod that uh, 
it doesn't do much. Pretty much just makes your character look more like they've been like in the rain. So like if it's raining like right now, your character's gonna look wet and like covered in like rain and you know water. Or if it's snowing, you're gonna get a frost effect over your armor and your skin, which I think is a pretty good immersion mod. It is a cool immersion mod because like. In the previous Skyrim games, that was some of the stuff that took me out of the moment, was if I, like, dove in water and I got out, I wasn't wet. Like, I was just kind of normal, you know what I mean? So if it, I'm, It like, kind of, like, breaks the immersion. Yeah, it does break it. But anyway, we got uh, lampposts, rain and snow, rich merchants, lore-based screen. I like that a lot because I, I, do too. I have learned more about Skyrim from these things. Less aggressive animals, which has been helpful. Yellow filter, Dovahkiin keep, Skyrim... Mercenaries and merchants in inns. Oh, Rift Run. What the hell are these? Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Those are some pretty cool mods. But right now, obviously, there's going to be some weird cutscenes and some just lots of talking. So we'll pause real quick and we'll be right back. And we're back with our Skyrim Let's Play. Just talked to Y'all Balgruff and he gave me the Axe of White Run. Now, typically, I haven't gotten too many awesome rewards from him when finishing that dragon quest. But this time, he gave me an Orcish battle axe and it does burns the uh 10 points of burn damage and that's actually kind of cool i'll be honest with you and i only use orcish weapons when i play as an orc because i think it's just dope so we're gonna try it out by killing a giant spencer you tried to kill a giant a little while ago how'd that how'd that work out for you when i first started playing the game and right after i completed the quest around level four that's quick save right i here. I'm playing at Adept. I'm not sure if Jim's playing at Adept. I think he's playing at one difficulty less. I'm not sure what it's called. It's Apprentice. Apprentice. But they're pretty oh, damn hard him. to kill because one smash you don't of want to a hammer you. Smash you. would just instantly kill me and fling me up in the air like a giant rag doll. And it was pretty funny to watch. Yeah, the giants are pretty notorious. Oh. Like, almost memes for just launching people up in the sky. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, fucking whopped me. You, you just got a big whop, Jim. <laughs> a whop on what? He gave me a whop, dude. But I, I did some damage. Yeah. Maybe if there weren't two of them, I could do it. I, We're going to try one more time. We're going to try I, a different strategy this time. When I uh, I usually don't fuck with giants. I, I, don't, don't, know. I don't even... I learned to <laughs> with arrows. I killed them with arrows when I did it. Oh, shit. He just stopped yeah, I don't know what... No, 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 Also had... Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the ragdoll effect. There, yeah. I look like Patrick Starr. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck, that didn't work at all. Well, it's a pretty good weapon, though. I think we'll go ahead and climb the mountain now and see if we can talk to the, the gray beards. So, be back. So, we hiked all the way up towards where the gray beads, beards are, and I found a troll. So, we're going to see if I can maybe whop this fucking troll with my new... Orcish axe. Let's get it! Oh, yeah, this guy's gonna get whopped. Whop! Wow! Oh! So not, I love those little animations like that it does. That's yeah. so dope. To be honest, I've never really been a fan of the two handed weapons. I usually dual wield. And, uh, usually right now, Jerry, you're giving me shit for dual wielding maces. Yes. I don't know. I have a certain play style that I like to do. I usually don't like Spencer said. I don't like two-handed weapons unless it's like a Daedric artifact, like Valendrug. I think it is. Is the Orcus uh, Warhammer? I usually have like a sword and like a spell in, one, in the other hand. But uh, yeah, Spencer is currently dual wielding steel maces, and I just don't get that. <laughs> I think it, it's slow. It's clunky. I I just don't like that play style. I'm having a lot of fun with what I'm doing, and I'm using dual Orcus battle axe as kind of as like what I'm mainly doing. What the hell? But, uh, I, yeah, I'm also using this battle axe right now. Oh, my God. This is one of, like, the most bogus parts of the whole game is having to do this fucking walk up to the Greybeards for no apparent reason. Just to further the quest. Like, it couldn't, there couldn't be a gondola. There couldn't just be a, a fucking ski what lift I, up there. What I usually do is I usually just take a horse and it cuts the travel time in half. Yeah. But Orcs don't ride horses. I like the, uh, I think it'd be better just to walk for this gameplay. I don't I think so too. I think the first time, like the full playthrough of like Skyrim on the 360, I never used a horse once. I yeah. didn't either. I either fast I traveled really either. or walked. Lydia, what the fuck, bro? Come on. Lydia's lagging far Get behind. Get your game together. My first time ever playing Skyrim, 
my first save, my first real save, I didn't really get the game because I didn't really ever play RPGs before. Fuck that goat like ISIS. And uh, it took me hours and hours and hours to understand what I was supposed to be doing. Like, to get to Riverwood, it took me, I think, like, two hours to get to Riverwood. After That's a funny I... story. When I first got Skyrim, I uh, didn't know what to do at all. I had never played a game like this. So I asked Spencer, hey, man, can you uh, can you help me? He's like, yeah, sure, I, I know how to play Skyrim. And I was like, all right, cool. Uh, just just get online and you know you can join my game and we can make this happen and he's like J jim that's not how skyrim works you can't just join people's games it's, and it's i'm a like single player game i'm like what do, you, what do you mean you can't join people's games like isn't it like you know gta or something where you can just spawn in and play with me he's like no oh fuck he's just gonna run all right what a, fuck? What a pussy but yeah spencer he, he he had to tell me like walk me through what to do in the beginning of skyrim because i was so lost i did not know like what the hell to do with this newfangled RPG. Because it was the first RPG I played with Skyrim. Yeah. I didn't play Fallout 3. I didn't play Oblivion. None of those games. I had, the, Skyrim was the first game like this that I had ever even attempted to play. My, so, oh, go ahead, Spencer. So RuneScape would be like the only role-playing game you guys had played before? Like well, I played Fable games. 3. Oh, well. Does Fable 3 count? Yeah, yeah Fable 3 is an RPG, isn't it? I, so I played really, Fable Three. I wouldn't really count it as an RPG. Like, not like Skyrim. No, 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 not, not like Skyrim. not like Skyrim. I, but like you make your character. Count, and... Yeah, you make your character and you like do quests and it's a, an open world. Like I count it just like an open world action adventure game. Yeah, but I think the two RPGs that I put the most time into is Skyrim and RuneScape. Oh yeah, RuneScape I put like years of my life into. I have, in, in terms of game time, I have. I honestly would say at least a couple months logged into RuneScape. I've played so much RuneScape. I started when I was like literally five years old. But Did um, I do this wrong? No, you're going the right way. Okay. Yeah, it kind of confused me where like it goes down and then it goes yeah. down. Yeah. And then I played Skyrim, which I have, a, I, I think I have like a thousand hours logged on Skyrim. This is my second most, this is my favorite game. You know what, I'm, I'm looking at it now, Jared, and I know we had a disagreement early on about how different the game looks. Looking at it right now, especially in this third person where I can see kind of far out there, it does look a lot nicer. Hold on, than the look, look back at those mountains. The rendering distance—I don't know if that makes sense to you. Yeah, it's so much yeah. farther, and you can see in so much farther detail farther away. Is there a, there's a troll coming up, isn't there? Yeah, yeah we're about to get a troll. I think. Fight. Quick save right here, because Lord knows that something stupid's gonna happen. This frost troll's gonna fuck me. <laughs> I love this thing. This is a great weapon. Oh, he's fucking lobbing me. Oh, I thought I was dead for a second. I, I would have left. only had like half health when you did that too. Yeah, that was. But yeah, this good. This axe is really cool. I might use this as my, my standard weapon for the rest of the game because I'm having a ton of fun with it. But the dual weapons are cool too. Let me, let me look. There we go. Bah! These things are dope. I love these things. I the first time I played through this game. I was an orc, and I just, I didn't wear any armor. Or this was the second time I played through. I didn't wear any armor. I just wore a rough spun tunic. And I would just run around. Why would you do that? Because it was, it I was, like Shrek. I was, yeah, I was playing it on a difficult setting. I wanted to challenge myself, so I didn't wear any armor. I just wore a rough spun tunic, and I carried two orcish battle axes. And I played the entire game like that. And it was so hard. Because imagine, like, you had no armor. I'd get whopped by, like, goats it was so fucked the first time i played this game the iron dagger glitch was still in it and it yeah. hadn't gotten patched yet my so, first playthrough too now hang on spencer i know you kind of want to go off on a little tangent here but this next part of the game is really boring so we're just going to pause it here and pick up in a minute okay so we completed all of the graybeards training and now we're going to get the what's it called jared the horn of the horn of florian flincaller not actually what it's called. The Horn of Florin Flincaller. The Horn of Jorgen Wingaller. And the uh, Jarl... Jarl, Jarl Bullhof the Greater. <laughs> I love how you give them fake names. We should start doing that in every episode. Just whenever like we have to name like a Skyrim name, just call it something different. Like, oh yeah, that's a... Uh, Parthenipple. Like, <laughs> Parthenipple. And, uh... Parthenipple and Aldefin. <laughs> Guys, I just realized that I cleared this place out. 
a good hour ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Especially Bang! You're not even doing the quest line. Bang. You're just kind of going in dungeons. I know. <laughs> you just kind of go. I around. came in here, went through all of it, and realized, what the fuck? This is stupid. There's nothing in here. Just kidding. There is a potion of here, minor stamina. Potion of Spencer Mars. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, Spencer. Just got kidding. That minor there is more though. in here that I didn't know. Didn't look very hard. Should I take this stuff? No, it's no. not worth that much. I don't want to weigh myself down. All right. Oh shit. Droggers. What are these things called? How do you pronounce this word? Droogers. I, I say drogger. Should I use my dual axes or should I get my big axe out? Um, I'd go with the small small axes. Get those potions. Black briar mead. Lit. Anyway, okay. I love sleuthing through the dungeons and stuff and just chopping shit up. What's down there? I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of exploring dungeons. I'm a giant fan. I think it's like one of my favorite parts of the game. Really? I love like I. I think all like the dungeons look different. I think, I think they they're look well, like, the well designed. I mean, the drawers become like pretty fucking easy to kill yeah. eventually, but like I'm only at level seven and my axes are just fucking carving through them like they're hot butter. Then you hit the dragon priest dungeons, which I just beat one. I like those. A bitch to kill. Oh fuck! Where are they? I'm also like level seven, so I mean, though? where you go behind you, Jimmy? No, 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 not that way. Nah, man. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust right, you? Maybe yeah. Maybe Wait, right. go back, go back, go back. What's on the table? table? Oh, some gold. There you go. Yeah, like Spencer just all those septums change. All these septums. Why are they called septums, Jared? Uh, Tiber Septum yep. was the guy who unified Skyrim. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Tamriel. Tamriel. Show me where to go, Jared. I'm not sure. Left. It's right. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what you mean. So, I, I just kind of called uh, all of Tamriel Skyrim. What do you guys think of Elder Scrolls Six being another Skyrim game? Wait, that's I know that's kind of been like. Uh, is theory. that like confirmed? No, no, that, that's that's just, general, that's just a theory. Well, that's just the general. The consensus. theory is that it's just going to be Skyrim Two. Yeah. That's stupid. I want them like okay. So, the Red Guards is like my second favorite race in the Sky or the in the Elder Scrolls universe. I think they should go to Hammerfell. Has that been a thing yet? Have they already done Hammerfell? I think that was might have been like one of like the first games. They should do that. First I think that'd be a game. unique thing to do, like with sand and stuff. Because I feel like the other Skyrims have been very foresty and stuff. Maybe do like a desert type thing. Uh, what I know you they're could, doing, you can make a whole different game, or at least the, the, a DLC. The the, 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 accept, the accepted one is that it's going to be in um, Valenwood, so jungles and forests, which I think is going to be really cool. That'd be really cool. Which oh, is the know. Wood Elves. Home, home province. Now, are you gonna play that as a wood elf, or are you gonna do? A I'm, Nordic? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do a uh, wood elf, or probably imperial. Spencer, I know that you, you and I have discussed it before. When's that game coming out, V? What the hell? So at E3, what's the Bethesda's like CEO, the guy that comes Todd, out? Todd Todd Ron Howard. Howard. Todd Howard. Todd Howard. Todd Howard. Todd Howard came out in an Is interview. Is Ron Howard an actor? Yeah. Ron, Ron Howard. No, Ron Howard's a director. No, oh, he, he's a, he's the ginger guy. Name one successful ginger person. Ron Howard? Yeah. Ron Howard? All right, go ahead, Spencer. So at E3 of this year, Todd Howard came out and said that they are in the very early like production stages. Because they didn't have the tech for it, right? When they, don't, when they say production, do they mean like like concept or like in like, like story making. or like making? It? Making. And okay. that the game won't be out for like... The theory is that the earliest it'll be out is like the end of 2018. Oh. And because Todd said they don't even have the technology they like need to make like the envisionment that they have for the game which i think is completely insane because like fall four it looks amazing that boggles my mind what could it be you I, know what i mean i'm like, thinking they're gonna go vr with it i don't like, think they're gonna go i'm thinking they're gonna maybe that's put such vr a, in the oh. game but i don't think it's gonna be the like their main thing it's such a niche market to be like yeah our whole game is gonna be centered around yeah. vr you but, know what i mean but it's then like, again like i don't even know if VR is going to stick around. Or right, exactly. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. Which, I mean, if, in my opinion, VR has got to be... VR has got to be the future, right? Because I mean, where, where else do games go? You can't make them look any nicer. I mean, you could, theoretically. But, yeah. like, you, you can't make them look at, at much a, at nicer. A, at a point, you, you know... There's a critical mass to how nice a game can look. We're, we're, we're almost there, yeah, right? The human eye can only handle so yeah. much. You can't just make so, it... So, once we hit 4K gaming, it's, it's just yeah. going to... 
slowly. So where do you go next? And that's that's kind of where I'm what I'm getting at here is like it's it's got to be VR, right? Yeah. But I think we're so early that that VR no one has it yet. So even if the game was like all right, 2019, I'm not going to have VR in 2019. Yeah. I'm pro I'm going to be sticking with my PlayStation 4 unless they've evolved that PSVR to that next stage and they make it affordable. I think the next iteration of the PSVR will be in like 2 years. About when the uh, this PS game file. should come out, though. My bad, Lydia. I think the VR2 will come out right around the time the PS5 will come out. You think so? I think so. Now, do you think that... I mean, think about it. The PlayStation 3 had a how many year life cycle? Because it, it came out in 2007, and it stuck around until 2013. 13? Six years. A six year life cycle? How many years are we into this one? Already three? two, two no, not two. Yeah, we're, we're, three. we're, three, we're three years, years in. in. Really? So I mean, in three years we'll probably have the PS5, if yeah. not a year earlier than that. Jared, do you know where to go? Yeah, you, uh, turn turn around. It's across that little like land bridge. There's a little land bridge here. Yeah. Okay, thanks, buddy. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't played Skyrim in so goddamn long, and I'm kind of the one doing this version. I think what we'll do is we'll just talk through the. Um, uh, you, you gotta use um. What? Whirlwind Sprint to like uh, sprint through those. Oh, uh, okay. Like run past all those stones, and then once you get to the gates, Whirlwind Sprint through. There, you go. there we go. Sorry, Lydia. Here, so well. That shout was one of my favorites. I. Mm. I like the shouts, but I, I like just kind of playing. I like. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Oh, fires shooting at me? Yeah, just, no. What the hell? What are you doing? Just go through. Okay, I'll just keep running. I kind of like the shouts because it's like using magic without actually like using magic. Yeah. Bah, bah, magic is so fun bah. to use, but making a pure mage uh, character is so hard. That's what Noah's doing. Yeah. My, I wanted to mention this. My Kai looks like Kratos, and I didn't even notice that I did that. Your what? My my orc. He looks a little like Kratos from God of War. Oh uh, yeah. With that red like uh, war paint on his eye. Open the little door. The first time I played this game. Yanking the chain. I, I went to this dungeon. I was like 11. Go through there, Jim. Hang on, let me save this real quick. There we go. That thing started vibrating and those things started popping up. Uh -huh. And I didn't want to fight anything. So I sprinted through the end and I didn't want to, I didn't look back. Because I thought something was about to pop out and fight me. Okay, so what do I gotta do? Read mysterious notes. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Meet whoever took the horn. Okay. Take the note. Right, I took it. Okay, any cool stuff here? Do we know who took it? Do you guys? I know. I mean, I know who took it. I don't know who took it. I don't remember. You guys actually not know who took it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, is it that the lady who, like, does the dragon people? The, the blades. The blades, uh, right, you, yeah. Where, where are you going, Jimmy? Where do I go? Straight. Behind the altar. Altar? I, again, I haven't played this game in three years. I know that I know kinda, this is your kinda, third kinda, playthrough at this month, but kind of self-explanatory. I mean, look at all these stuff. Look at all those chickens. Why are like rings in the game? They seem, rings? Pre they seem pretty useless. I think just to, like I, I know that, but like normal rings. They see you know it's kind of like RuneScape rings, like, like silver rings. Yeah, why is there a silver ring in this game? Probably just they're, they're, I think they're literally meant to be enchanted or sold. Yeah. You don't just wear like a regular ring. Exactly. Unless you want to, in which case you're kind of a D-bag. So, okay. what do you guys think about Elder Scrolls Online? I hated that shit so much. I did not like that game like at it. all. I didn't like it at all. It didn't feel like an Elder Scrolls game, to be honest. Like, they like, had this great, like, mechanism. I That's kind of the interface is what I'm going for. You know items skills all that stuff even you know they could copy they could have copy and pasted the interface i would be like dope you know i'll play it but no they make this new weird interface that doesn't I make any like goddamn it. sense i hated that game so much they could have just remastered skyrim then and just yeah. added like co-op yeah. if they added like two person like player option for this game like a, I'd be a fine fable 3 i think yeah, 3 was exactly. really fun co-op I'm not, going through, like that. I'm not going through every single one of these goddamn urns. Reasons. Why do you search the empty urns? It was an accident, Jer. Calm down. Alright, Jer. You're going to have to guide me through. 
All right, uh, go out there, turn right, straight. Gotcha. All right, okay, I'm figuring out. I know all out. these assumptions, like the back of my hand. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> you've played this game so goddamn much. It's it's hard for me to even fathom how much you've played this fucking game. What? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. I hate the fucking switches. Skyrim, there we go. Now we're out. So, the blades took it, so I gotta go to... River Run, right? Riverwood. Riverwood. Whatever the fuck it's called. Riverwood. And then they're in that inn, like behind the wall, right? Yeah. That I do remember. See? I know a thing or two about a thing or two. I remember this dumb shit. The ancient Nord pantheon consists of Alduin, Debella, Orky, Orky. Or guy, Jimmy. I think it's Orky. Okay. T Sun. T T Sun. <laughs> That's a good rap name. So that should be your rap name. Spencer, put some bars as T-Sun for us. Spencer, what's your favorite rapper? I think my favorite rapper at the moment would be Logic. Logic. Thank Yo, you. my name is Jim. Oh, there, there's here a with call my for friends, Jimmy. Playing Sky Rim. Hey. What the fuck? You're the one they call what? These guys are so annoying. I don't remember these guys. Because they're what from the, the DLC. Makes sense, though. I've never seen this before. Yeah, th these are the, uh, the Dragonborn DLC. Yeah. All right, let's go. Dawn Guard. Dawn Guard is when there's another Dragonborn out there. Dragon. Uh, in. Dawn, did you say Dawn Guard or Dragonborn? Dawn Guard. Oh, this dude just came in clutch. And he no, Dawn, killed Dawn Guard is the is the vampire one. Dragonborn's oh. the one. For those of you who don't know, Dragonborn. Long story short, the first Dragonborn comes back to life, I guess. And he's trying to uh, come into Tamriel and take over the Tamriel, and you gotta stop him. Oh, Lydia, you're a little close. And these are the cultists that worship him. Because I remember the oh, the, the mask seem familiar from the uh, cultists. The art. Or the vessel the mother made into DLC. Th then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Shrek. <laughs> I love how all the notes say Shrek. I really, I really like that about this game, though. <laughs> or all Bethesda's games, they, like, use your name and stuff. Could you imagine, like, if my character sounded like Mike Myers? That'd be so funny. <laughs> Please don't do me, Mike He's Myers. He's doing, like, Fus Roda. Oh, I, can't, I can't even do Fus Roda don't, 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 as Mike please, please Myers. Don't try that. <laughs> Donkey! We're at the edit room. Ogres have Jimmy, you, you, you just wasted ten gold. Did I really? Yeah, you gotta run oh. the attic room. Oh, you want to be yes, the And there's a there's a door behind the bookcase. We don't actually. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Yep. But I think I know yeah. what you mean. You sh Go ahead and make I also play with the game with subtitles on. So just in case I don't miss anything. Okay, where the hell? Did you sleep an hour in the bed. Oh shit. Okay, sleep one hour. Yeah, you sleep an hour. Dope. This let's play is just getting sloppy. Oh, okay. Just, just, yeah, just chill in that room until okay. she comes I'm to talk to you. Wait in here. Delphines. And then that bookshelf moves, right? Not that bookshelf. I'm waiting. Lydia is the worst yeah. follower in this I game. I totally forgot there were even yeah, companions I'm the dragon in this game. There's what? I totally forgot there were even companions in this game. Yeah, Lydia is the worst companion. There are some pretty cool What companions. other companions are there? There's so many. Really? There's... Are they different, like, races and stuff? Like, in... Yeah. Really? Companions? Yeah. Yeah. How many... Is there an orc one? Yeah. Yes! I'm gonna find him. Where is he? Orc stronghold. Uh. Probably can't get him. <laughs> <laughs> I... For those of you who don't know, I murdered all of the orcs in order to get orc weapons. Uh. Close the door. Then Close the door. You're not afraid. Not what afraid. is your guys' favorite looking no. armor in this game? Orc. Why orc? I don't know. I just I like the orcs in this game. I don't know why. Um, be careful. I just do. You just find that I honestly around? couldn't tell you. Really? I let, like your lucky day. I depending on what I'm doing. I like the glass stuff a lot. The glass stuff looks really cool. I never understood why there was dragon armor, but there were no dragon weapons. You're the there one are dragon weapons. There it's are? part of the DLC. Oh. 
I never got to that. I wouldn't have found out. Yeah, they, uh, Dragon, Wep Dragon Bone weapons are in the DLC. They're really powerful, but they're so heavy. Like, that's the only problem. What, Jern? The Dragon Bone weapons. Where do you get them? They're in the DLC, so you wouldn't have, you, you wouldn't have seen them. I only played the first one. Now, did you guys always save the Dragon Scales and Dragon Bones? Oh, yeah. I didn't initially, but... Because when my first ever playthrough, I saved all of them in some chest in, I think, Winterhold. In the, yeah. Where the Magic Guild is. And I'm really glad I did that, because once I hit, uh, like, I think it's like 90 smithing, yep. you get to make all the dragon armor, so I didn't have to go kill any more damn dragons to get the fucking scales and, uh... It was so easy to do that with the Iron Dagger glitch. Just ding, 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 ding! Oh, I got 90 smithing now! Yeah, I like the best armor in the game, and it didn't take any uh, Initially, I didn't really save the dragon scales and dragon bones. I usually started saving them once I hit, like, 70 That's smithing. Let's get on the road to Pine Creek. Also, Let's another thing. At some point in the game, dragons are just piece of cake, which Ooh. I really didn't like. I love the blade sword. Orcish great sword. I'm going to keep my big axe thing, though. All right. I n Oh, my God. There's so much to do. Anyway, I think this is going to... We can cut this one short. This is episode one of our Skyrim Let's Play. I do want to do another one of these, but I might not do my character again. I kind of want to keep it fresh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is episode one. Tune in for the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, on the left, last week's podcast, uploaded every Saturday. And on the right, one video you may have missed. Check it out. I'll see you next time.